Tomorrow, President Trump is meeting with current Fed Chair Janet Yellen, one of the candidates to be in consideration. Now, the next Fed chief, uh, there are right now five finalists, uh, but I think there's really three names that are going to have a potential impact on this market. Janet Yellen, Gary Cohn, or John Taylor. With me now, Danielle DiMartino Booth, former Dallas Fed advisor and Money Strong LLC president. Danielle, who's going to be the next Fed chair? Well, I think it all depends on how that meeting goes tomorrow. Uh, it, these days, I think it would be wise for President Trump to take the path of least resistance. The path of least resistance of the three finalists you just named uh, would be Janet Yellen. I wouldn't discount Jay Powell at this point, uh, because if he's not in favor of Yellen, Jay Powell is the next easiest path because he's already been confirmed by the Senate. He's already sitting on the Federal Reserve Board of Governors. Uh, as to what you're saying about John Taylor, could he spook the markets? Would he introduce discipline at the Federal Reserve? Yes. Would that be enough to, to spook the markets? Potentially. Well, here's the thing. With, with Yellen, you have someone who seemed to be in lockstep ideologically with President Obama. Uh, she talked a lot about things that didn't necessarily seem to be part of her job description, you know, the, the ills of society and, and the down and out and the downtrodden. And she got very political from time to time. If I'm President Trump, I know Wall Street wants me to stay the course, but I also worry after giving her the stamp of approval, going back to her roots and maybe working against my agenda. You know, absolutely. Look, they're, they're, uh, the, the Fed has been infected with mission creep. Uh, I, I think that, that the president recognized that when he was on the campaign trail. I think that reappointing Janet Yellen would go against his very grain. Um, he, he's a true capitalist, and I think that he wants for the market to set prices, not for the, ped, for the Fed to be so overly intrusive in that process. So it, it's a very difficult decision for him to make. He is a debt man. He does like low interest rates. He knows that a lot of the legislation that he wants to pass depends upon borrowing costs for the country staying low, and that leans you towards Janet Yellen. But again, I'm, I'm hoping that, that, that Trump is able to see out over the long term, look to his legacy, be more Reagan-esque, and bring, a, bring more discipline back into the Federal Reserve. That would be my hope, Charles. All right. Well, you know what? The, I, I think you're right with respect to discipline, but I'm not sure the market is ready for Taylor just yet. Uh, but you know well, what? Well, th this market is clearly, clearly on off the rails. We had 76 whopping days between 22,000 and 23,000. It wants to go up, Charles. That's pretty clear. Danielle DiMartino Booth, thank you very much. Always appreciate it.